winter tends to bring out our inquisitive nature. Every year we're plagued by many deep questions regarding purpose in life, our future, the future of the human race, what it means to be fulfilled and live a fulfilling life, and many more. But one question that we all have stands above all the others. Where do bugs go in the winter? Most other animals have pretty easy answers. For instance, mammals tough it out or sleep through it, and birds just fly away. But bugs, the strangest and most varied of all the animals, have many ideas about how to survive in the colder and harsher months of the year. Often considered the most beautiful of the insect world, butterflies and moths are true spectacles. They rely on flight for almost everything they do, but the colorfully patterned wings which sustain them are also a great weakness. In the winter, these large and flat wings beat against the cold air, making it almost impossible for an organism so small to retain any heat. As such, butterflies and moths do as the birds do and migrate, sometimes up to thousands of miles, in order to escape the frigid cold. Bees live their entire lives in a totalitarian state. Everything they do is for the benefit of the queen bee. If the queen needs something, countless workers and drones are ready to lay their life down on the line for her benefit. Now, when temperatures drop and things are looking dire, something must be done to ensure the survival of the queen. The bees all gather in a massive sphere with the queen at the very center to generate body heat to keep her alive, and they stay like this all winter long. The bees near the center of the sphere rapidly vibrate their bodies in order to generate extra heat, but the bees on the outside are exposed to the harsh cold. It's a necessary sacrifice, however, and can help keep temperatures up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the center core. This allows the bees to sustain their queen until winter has ended. Ants are the most numerous of all the insects. Their numbers are in the hundreds of trillions. And when winter approaches, they must be prepared. They do this by eating as much as they can and then digging deep into the earth before entering a sluggish state called diapause. Diapause is a slower metabolic state in which ants do not eat, drink, or lay eggs, but remain awake utilizing very little stored energy. Some species of ants can even convert their body fluids into an alcohol called glycerol which acts as a natural antifreeze. This allows them to stay alive even in sub-freezing temperatures throughout the winter. Grasshoppers, in stark contrast to ants, don't spend any time preparing for the winter. They face their fate head on. Every adult grasshopper will perish in the cold. But before they are snuffed out, the female grasshoppers find a safe place to lay their eggs, such as in holes in the ground or under piles of leaves. Then, once winter is finally over, an entirely new generation of grasshoppers emerges. This means that each generation of grasshoppers is almost completely isolated from the next. In this way, they can completely avoid ever having to live in the winter at all. <laughs> 